Also known as Glam Instant. If you're new here, welcome to the family, y'all. Your girl's fresh face because your girl did a wig. Your girl did a wig install on herself. I am not a hair guru. I am not a wig girl. I am not a hair beautician. None of that. This is what I do to get my wigs to look like this. I think it looks pretty decent. My little baby hair, okay. And this is also a West Kiss wig. So West Kiss, if you see this, holla at your girl. Let's work. But if you want to see how I apply my wig, simply for the day, two days. That's all you're gonna get. You're gonna get a day and a night out of me. That's it. Keep on watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I miss you guys so so much. But let's get right to it. So what is up, you guys? I'm back with a hair tutorial. Like I said in the intro, like again, I am not a wig girl. But look at this wig. This is a West Kiss 5x5 closure wig, and I'm going to be installing it today. This wig was previously installed that I did on myself, so I'm showing y'all what I'll do. First thing I'm taking is my alcohol to clean off my forehead to get rid of any oils or any product that I may have on my forehead. This just gives you a clean base for your wig to stick all day. Um, again, I use hairspray. You guys will see that. Um, it just helps me. So right here, I'm about to brush these edges, bad boo. And I don't know why I tried to use a comb, but as you can see, your girl used a comb. I don't know where my brush was. And we getting rid of that bonnet. I don't know. I was trying to hide them braids. Y'all got see the braids. So again, this is the wig. And I'm showing you guys the lace. I'm just inspecting it, pulling that little piece off because we didn't need her. We did not need her. Next, I'm taking a dirty foundation brush. Yes, I said dirty. And I'm using that leftover foundation that I used maybe the day before, two days ago, to just start tinting that lace to match my skin tone. Then I took my bronzer. This is by, ooh, um, <laughs> Black Radiance. It's by Black Radiance in the color Mahogany or Reach rich deep outlet everything down below that i used and i'm taking that just to go over and pat that into my lace to make sure it's matching my skin tone i'm matching it to my hand and i'm gonna just get it to where i feel like it matches enough i'm gonna do this a few times so just keep watching Then, as you can see, I went in with that infallible foundation powder, which, oh, it did what it needed to do. You see me? It matches. And now it's time to get the wig ready. I'm just going ahead to clip that piece in the back, which helps my wig stay on. It, the wig does come with um, clips in it, but personally, the clips, in my opinion, don't do much. You want to have that either elastic band or well it's an elastic band but when you get a wig made it looks differently and i'm just gonna flip my head over and slide that back get it to where i need it to be nice and comfortably and then i'm sliding a wig on look at those curls y'all and then when you come up you look like these it look real wiggy it look real wiggy but 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 we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it don't worry so now I'm just playing around with it, making sure the hairline where I, is where I want it to be, trying to get all those extra little hairs, making sure my hair doesn't peek out. My hair does come down a little farther, so I'm taking that rat tail comb and just sweeping it back under that wig. This is a beginner-friendly video, so if you don't know much about lace and hairlines and such and trying to melt and all that good stuff, this is the video for you, baby. This is what we do when you know you need it to look good, like like you know what you're doing, doing. like you know what you're doing, but you don't really but it look good enough like that and if and if anybody try to inspect your lace telling you on my business don't do that but now that i got the wig to be where i want it to be placed i'm just sweeping it back again trying to get those little flyaways away before i go in to lay it down
once I'm satisfied with all the hairs being in place, I'm taking my olive oil hairspray and I'm spraying a thin layer across my forehead where the lace is going to be. I'm fanning it dry just a little bit, not too much. You know, I'm also catching the drip aways with the comb, not too, too much. And then I'm going to lift the wig and place it right into that hairspray. Just like that. And then I'm taking my rat tail comb and not my fingers and making sure to press the lace into the hairspray. Not my fingers because I don't want it to be cakey or white residue. I'm using the comb. As you can see, she moved a little bit and that's okay. I'm gonna pull it back up and place it back down. Once I'm satisfied to where the wig is placed, I'm going over again with some hairspray on top. Uh-oh, gotta fly away. Now, like I said, I'm grabbing that hairspray and I'm just spraying the hairline to ensure that it does not lift and get that lace all set. Then I'm taking my elastic band. Oh, I'm scrunching up my face to make sure I can move my face and my wig isn't too tight on my head. <laughs> That's a great tip I learned. I'm taking an elastic band and I'm tying it around my lace. Oh, child, these flowers are getting on my nerves in this video. Hmm. But I'm taking that elastic band and I'm tying it around. This is going to, quote unquote, melt my lace into my skin. I found that this works better than um, a silk scarf or a silk band. My hair tech, I mean, my hairstylist gave it to me when she did my wig one time and I have been hooked ever since. So I'm just tying it where the lace is and making sure it is nice and tight. And I leave this on for about five to six minutes. It doesn't stay on too long because if not, you'll get that um imprint from the elastic band and i hate that i hate the way it looks so just a five to six minute hold you know no heat no blow dryer none of that as that is setting i'm gonna grab my uh hot comb and i'm gonna turn it on this is just the hot comb i got from the beauty supply store it's nothing fancy it wasn't really expensive it works for me so this is what i use I'm back and the lace is melted baby i took that band off and i'm showing you that band did it look at that oh she looking like scalp already you see when we first looked over she looked like a wig now she looking like a, just a little bit of scalp just a little bit so now i'm just inspecting my hairline making sure it's where i want it to be and how it looks i'm taking that comb and i'm uh moving the hairs like i'm moving them so they don't look stuck into place i found that this makes it look a little bit more natural like when you just leave the hairs how it comes from under the band it just look a little mm -mm. so now i'm just admiring my lace because i feel like i did a good job already and i'm dancing and i'm dancing and we back <laughs> i'm taking that alcohol again just to dab over the extra hairspray that's on my forehead not the hairline my forehead my forehead you see my forehead not the hairline just in case there's an extra, you know, little glare, little drippings that came down. And I'm drying that immediately. And now it's time to start to lay her. So I'm sectioning off where my closure is. The closure and those wefts meet. And I'm grabbing my hot comb. And I'm going to just start pushing it down and molding it into the wig. This is a curly unit, so of course it's going to be, you know, a lot more volume. And here's when I noticed I forgot something. I'm grabbing my Nairobi wrap foam. You can lay your wig with anything, but I like to use Nairobi wrap foam and another product, which you'll see in a few seconds. And like so, I'm just literally going over it with a hot comb. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this a thousand times on YouTube. You know, it's just, you're laying it flat. You're not burning yourself. It's just that simple. <laughs> as much as possible. Here, I'm deciding if I wanted to do a, just a flip over method type thing. Or an actual side part or a middle part. 
And honestly, I don't even know why I tried this because your girl wears the top part all the time. I mean, a middle part all the time. Middle part is just that girl for me. I'm still playing around with it, playing around with it. It looks cute, but it's just not for me. So now you just guys, you guys are gonna just see me hot comb, trying to get that uh, closure as flat as possible. I feel like this is the part that really makes or break how a natural wig looks. I mean, at the end of the day, we know it's a wig, but making sure that a uh, closure part or frontal part is nice and flat is really important. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch me, you know, hot comb, mold, all that good stuff. As you can see, the part is the hard part for me. It's, it's always a struggle trying to get it as straight as possible. But once I'm satisfied with it, I'm going in with this other product, which is a wax stick. It is the Care Care wax stick. I don't, I don't have any specific wax sticks I like. If you have one, suggest it down below. But I'm just going over all of that. And I'm going to take my hot comb again and hot combing it down. Again, this just helps your wig to lay flatter. Again, if you have any wax sticks in mind or products in mind to help get my girl, help your girl out, you know, help the wig out, my girl, my wig, you know, suggest it down below. But again, this is just what I do. This is not, this is not law. This is not beauty guru. I am not uh, Alonzo. This is what I do. The hairline look a little bit like scalp though, if I do say myself. If I do so, so myself. It looked pretty good. So then I'm just taking this little edge brush. Yes, she's dirty. I know. And I'm using my Nairobi to do my little baby hairs and my hairline. I don't like to use anything else. I like to use Nairobi. To me, it just helps it move effortlessly. And it doesn't look too, too stiff once it's actually set. I hate a crunchy looking baby line or hairline. So this is what I use. And I'm taking the uh, comb part of that. And I'm combing the Nairobi into my hairline as you can see it helps give you that hairline effect once you're combing it in it and not brushing it in because it's almost like teeth and then i'm taking my little baby hairs on the side i don't do dramatic baby hairs just a few on the side and i'm swooping it that's all i do that's all the baby hairs you're gonna get out of me i don't need crazy baby hairs i feel like it it looks too fake when especially when you're wearing a closure wig so i just do a little two swoop on the side two swoops one on this side one on the other side I'm doing the same exact thing I did on the opposite side, just a comb in that uh, Nairobi through the hairline with the comb, and then I flip it over to do my baby hairs with the brush. Again, I wanna reiterate, I am not perfect. I'm not Alonzo, I'm not Tay, I'm just, you know, your girl who, who, who wears wigs and this is what I've learned and this is what I do. So if it's helping you, give me a, a like, okay? If it's not helping you, if you got some tips for me, give me constructive criticism in the comments. Anything negative, baby, we ain't trying to hear that. We ain't trying to hear that. Unless you're going to do my hair for free. <laughs> We're not trying to hear it. 
But I'm just hot combing again. And I'm like, okay, look at my face. She like, okay, she looking, she looking like a scalp. She looking like a little scalp deal. I'm going back over those baby hairs. I'm taking that hairspray just to spray them in place. Again, I don't like when they look crunchy, but just making sure they're set and not moving. I'm going back in with my elastic band, as you can see, and wrapping it around and just uh, making sure they're set so they're not moving. Uh-oh, you see that? I'll be back. As you can see, I'm back and that band is off and that's what we looking like. Y'all see that scout? You see her, you see her, you see her. Okay, now I'm going to tame my curls. I'm showing you what I use. That is water in a Mario Badescu bottle. Yes, it is water. I know. Ghetto. And that's fine. Then I'm grabbing my bag of hair products. I keep them in a satin bag because I feel like they always seep out the bottle. And I don't have time for them to get on everything. So, I'm going in with the Ozzy Miracle Curl Refresher. And the Ozzy Curl Defining Gel Oil. Not gel, oil. I sped this part up because I can give you guys an in-depth product review. But this is what the curls are looking like. That's what that lace is looking like. And now we're going to define that part. So I'm taking this Morphe concealer, which is really close to my skin tone. And I'm just going to dab it. I don't like again, I'm a little nervous still when it comes to my wig. So I just take a circle brush, angle brush, and dab that line. Then I noticed that's not even the right color concealer. This is the one that's super close to my skin tone. So I'm just doing the same exact thing. Once I have it where I need it to be, I'm feeling good now. I feel like it's looking really good. It looks like that girl. Lastly, I'm just finger raking the hair, seeing if I need to add any more product, inspecting that lace, inspecting that little cuff in the front. And then I'm just gonna take that oil that I showed you guys and add that as the finishing product. Typically, I do use more products, but this wig was freshly cleaned, so I didn't need to use a mousse and everything else. Again, if you want a how I define my curls, I will do an in-depth video. Just let me know down below. And I'm taking that petal brush. Uh -oh. And I'm just combing through. And look how pretty this hair is, guys. It is so pretty. West Kids did their thing. The quality of hair is bomb. And I don't think I mentioned the inches, but this is a 26-inch wig, and it is long. I'm 5'9", and it comes down to pretty much my butt. So, yeah, that's what you're looking at when you're getting a deep wave wig from them. Again, everything will be listed down below. Hair products, the hair, the unit itself will all be down below. And now I'm just doing finishing touches, making sure the wig looks good, in my opinion, you know. Now, we're getting into some slow-mos. Just so you guys can actually see the wig. Like, ugh. Again, I think I did a good job. I think I do what I need to do when it comes to my wigs. When it comes to Nasia G wigs, she looks good. And that is all for this video, my loves. I love you guys so, so, so much. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.